Probably about six months ago, it was a few musicians, probably about five or six of us, and we got to one of the last stops, because each of the musicians get off one by one. And as we got to one of the last stops, the singer and the violinist left the carriage, and it was just me and the guitarist left. And as they left, this girl walked on with a violin case. And we just went, hey, is that a violin? She was like, yeah. I said, do you want to play with us? We've got the music here, just ready. And she went, yeah, all right. So she sat down, opened the music, she's got her violin. She was only on the stop for like four or five stops, so she played a couple of songs with her, and then she left. And as, as she got out and we kind of said goodbye to her, this Irish guy at the end of the bar, just um, at the end of the bar, at the end of the, at the, end of the carriage, um, stood up and just went, this is why London is the best city in the world. aiming to play with a full orchestra at one of the top venues in London but the orchestra is made up purely by strangers that I meet on the London Underground. Best way of putting it. Uh, and we've, we've decided that I have a year to do it, so I start on the 1st of January 2012 and we're going to look at doing the show on the 12th of December 2012, 12, 12, 12. So I have almost an entire year where I have to find the musicians to form an entire orchestra just based on strangers um, and then perform at, at a top London venue. The orchestra will be made up in size of at least 30 but no more than 100. So it's, we were thinking 150 but I think 100 is probably more realistic to limit it with. Um, but 30 is minimum really when you consider you've got like a uh, full string quartet, you'll have full woodwind and full brass. So I think all of it actually makes sense. It's going to be at least at least 30 to, to 40 musicians. But we're not putting a limit on the number. We're just allowing anyone until we get, you know, we'll keep building it up and up and up until it works. And the idea will be that all of the people that we meet have to be strangers. They have to be people that I haven't met before. They have to be people I've not had direct contact with. Uh, they also have to be people who are carrying their instruments and I have to meet them whilst I'm buzzed into the underground. So I've got to put my path, my oyster, buzz into one of the London undergrounds. So I've actually got to be on London underground soil. So. There's loads of stuff that could go wrong. I, I could die. That could go wrong. That's, that's the worst case scenario. It's wrong, isn't it? It's wrong to die. It's wrong to die. Yeah, yeah, actually, no. That's not worst case scenario. Would I rather do the show at the Albert Hall with the full orchestra, but have lost an arm, or not do it and play outside and shit myself? That's what I'd have to ask. I'm wondering, because I'd be able to play it outside on my own, but I wouldn't be able to do it if I've lost an arm. But I could get someone else to do it. I could get someone to strum for me. Come on stage, I'll play the chords. Strum away. <laughs> Feel like that. Strum away. I'll do it. Yeah. So I think I would rather lose... I would rather lose my right arm than not do this, is what I basically discovered.